Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 18th, 2018. Well, hey everyone, we had an interesting day yesterday. Got a little nerve-wracking nerve there the first part of the day with that, with that sell-off. But here's the thing I wanted to point out uh, today. You know, if you take the time to clean up your chart, remove some of those indicators, and, and, and use just a simple chart, it's amazing what you will see in price action. Now, I say this all the time. I believe price is king. And if we just learn to follow price action, we can do a lot better. What everyone seems to be, want to do is use a whole bunch of combination of indicators, try to predict the market. And the fact of the matter is, there's just way too many factors for even the, the most super of computers to be able to predict the market. The best we can do is learn to follow the market. And if we study price action, we get the best clues to future price action if we just take a look at what price is telling us. Now, yesterday I marked out and said, you know, it's gonna be really, really important. We had crossed over this price resistance right here. It was going to be really, really important that we held on to it. Well, as you can see, yesterday we started a sell-off and um, we dropped all the way back down here to price support. Isn't that amazing? I don't know why that works so well, but it just does. Our pullback stopped at price support. So, and then the bulls took back over and we rallied back up near price resistance. Now this morning we're looking at the futures market down just a little bit. Asian markets were down last night. A um, little bit of turmoil in the market um, still. We, we, I keep mentioning that we should expect uh, these big daily gaps. Uh, with all the volatility in the market. So what we're looking at here is, is the Dow opening down about 120 points this morning. And we're right in this zone, as you can see, between a support and resistance level. Don't be too surprised to see us kind of wander around in here for a little bit back and forth. Now, if we hold on, if we hold on to the low of that big candle, if that holds that support level right there, then I think we have an opportunity to uh, to move on higher. But it's going to be really critical if the, for that to hold. If we were to drop below that level, I would then um, expect, a, at least at a minimum, a retest of the lows and possibly even a new low to occur. So watch that closely. We don't want to see that fail. We want to see that hold in this area. Now, if we do happen to rally further, just throw on the moving averages and you can see we're right below that 50 day moving average. And a very typical failure pattern in the market is when a stock rallies back up after breaking through the 50, rallying back up into this 50. We have to watch this area up here for that potential failure pattern. So watch that close and be careful about chasing too much long right now. We could really see some of that selling come back into play. Um, it's really going to depend how these earnings continue to roll out if, and how people are how the market responds to them. So kind of keep an eye on those price support and resistance levels. If we take a look at the SPY, very much the same thing going on here. The SPY did a lot better job yesterday, you know, holding above this price resistance area. We, we pop through and now holding above it, it's trying to hold it as support. But notice yesterday, we did drift below that. And this morning, we are coming back for another test of that area that needs to hold. We need to see those bulls defend this area because again, if that fails, watch for a test and it's gonna be critical, I think, that we hold on to that big candle. If we fail through there, we're likely going down for a retest of the lows. So let's keep an eye on that and this retest today will be really important if we can hold and if the bulls step up and defend. Let's take a quick look at the cues. 
Q's similar situation here, we're wedged up against some significant price levels. And as you can see right up through here, we're testing in this area. We dipped back down. We ended up holding the bullish uh, traders stepped in and pushed us back up after a retest down here yesterday. But this morning, as you can see, we're looking to open here in that mid range. So once again, this winding around this choppiness should be okay. As long as we hold on to the price support of that big candle, we don't want to see that fail because that would likely mean a retest lower. And if we look at IWM, that poor IWM, um, it's got so much work to do, still well below its 200 day moving average. And um, just a rally back right into this resistance area is what I would be looking at. Um, right now it's struggling. You know, we pop through this little resistance area right here. We're trying to hold on to it this morning. We're going to get a move back down to maybe test that as support. We need to see that hold. And then I would expect a move up here toward the 200. Um, so let's keep an eye on those um, support resistance and trend. Very key factors to the success of your trading. And if you clean up your chart and just look at what price action is telling you, you can do a lot better in your trading. Let's take a look at um, the VIX. The VIX started back up yesterday for a little while and it was starting to get a little bit worrisome there um, early in the morning. But when the bull stepped back in and pushed those the, the markets back up, we did get that settling here a little bit. So now it looks like we're going to move back uh, potentially to test this level of support down in here. We want to be careful because any move um, uh, back up sets that higher low here, uh, increasing the fear in the market. So we'll want to watch that closely. But right now, not too bad. Um, uh, you know, as far as fear goes, we'd like to see it settle a bit more. This morning's gap down. Well, let's just say it could have the potential. There's no way to know. We, we're, we're just guessing here, but there's no way to know. Just looking at support and resistance levels um, could push this back up. And if we hold above here, that might be um, a, a danger sign for the market to kind of keep an eye on. Let's uh, take a look at T21. 22. T21, 22, the four week new high, new low ratio. Interesting uh, the way the market reacted yesterday, um, pulling back quite sharply. Um, in T2122, meaning that there was a lot of new, a lot of stocks, even though that they were trying to hold the market up, there were a lot of stocks moving back down. So there were some key stocks that held the market up, but that's not exactly a great sign for us, but it's not terrible either because it still means that we have plenty of upside potential here, but we have to recognize that the retest down in here is certainly a possibility. So we could go both directions and clearly this morning we're gapping down. So we could move that back down here into this uh, bullish reversal zone. So keep an eye on that. Um, on the, if we take a look at our um, economic calendar, you can see on the economic calendar, we have several things that are going to come out uh, just before the bell this, or right um, excuse me, an hour before the bell this morning, jobless claims in the Philly Fed. Uh, both of those are expected to, to be r relatively strong. I don't see any major changes. I wouldn't expect a, a big price movement in the market unless there's some real surprises um, in those numbers. We have a couple Fed speakers today. We have a bunch of bond announcements, one tips auction. And then at the end of the day, We've got Fed balance sheet, money supply. Oh, I forgot uh, a natural gas report, but um, unlikely those are going to move the market uh, much at all. On the earnings calendar, we have our biggest day. Have over 80 companies reporting today. Um, they're going to really start rolling in fast and furious. Now, tomorrow we get a little bit of a, of a, of a rest in that. 
But remember, next week, more than 900 companies report. So you're, we're going to have to stay on our toes and really pay attention to uh, those earnings reports. Every time you look at a chart, make sure you're checking that earnings report, making sure you're not stepping into some kind of a price trap um, just before an earnings event. All right. Keep that in mind. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click those subscribe buttons on YouTube and Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. That really helps me a lot. And I truly, truly appreciate that. You know, I don't put any com uh, video or commercials on any of these videos. I never intend to make money from these. So you can help me out a lot by just clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving a comment. And with that in mind, everyone, hey, do me a favor. If you have ideas or suggestions, things that I can uh, do to improve these videos, please let me know. Feel free to drop that comment in the comment section, and I will be happy to take a look at that and see if there's something I can do. Everyone, have a great, great day. I want to wish you all well. I want to wish you all success. And if you're struggling as a trader, don't give up on yourself. Dig in there. Really study hard because trust me, once you finally find the way to make a living in trading, it's worth the effort. Take care of yourselves and we'll talk to you all very soon, bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.